Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix with me. It's been a long time. Uh, almost two events long. Actually, it's exactly two events long. Uh, we missed out on Gengar's return. We also missed out on the Christmas Lucario. Um, been busy. <laughs> so, if you guys have been following me on um, my Facebook page, uh, you probably know that I've created a brand new Instagram account just for my YouTubing and of course uh, Twitch stuff. Um, so what will I be posting there? Basically all the stuff that I lack the time to try and make videos of, especially like the merchandises that I usually show off um, during my unboxing videos and all that kind of stuff. Plus. You know, all the otaku or Japan pop culture news, uh, anything anime, drama series, you know, and of course, American pop culture as well, because I'm a man of the culture. <laughs> so yeah, guys, Instagram link in the description down below if you want to figure out um, what's been keeping me busy aside from Pokemon Cafe Mix, Uta Macross, and all the other games that I've Bought, but don't have the time to play <laughs> anyways with that aside let's dive into the reissue event for score bunny so look at that little thing zip by so it's not the first time score bunny has come around if I'm not wrong I think this is the second or third time I can't remember but anyways, we are still in the repeat phase for Pokemon Cafe Mix because the developers are trying to make the game a bit more interesting, to pull in more new players and of course to re-attract the older players um, that have maybe currently left the game. Uh, but you know, like me, myself, I play it very casually, um, you know, <laughs> considering how I'm still putting out videos for this series and you know, even though I took like a two event long break period, we are still getting down to it after so many days later. So as usual, let's do the normal stuff. Let's do the invitations first, since both of the Pokemons have yet to max out. Let's just go with these two. Hopefully I've not forgotten how to play this game. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um, there seems to be more Blossoms. Oh, but I picked up Minchino. Oh well. Alright, so let's pick up the Blossoms now. Okay, we're gonna go and try and destroy the Popcorns first. Squirtles. There we go. So the first layer is done. There's a lot of Jigglypuff. Okay, we do need to pay attention to the whip queens. Right, there we go. So all the whip queens are out. Now the only problem is getting the milk and the canisters to mix together. There we go. We gotta push all the milk cartons down. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Making sure to destroy the popcorn kernels and of course the whipped creams. Okay. Seems like we are good. Okay, can we mix this too? There we go. And the last whipped cream. Simple as that. So as long as you gather the stuff together, you shouldn't have a problem. Especially if you've got Minchino skill powered up and you have that range to destroy stuff. Yep. Alright. Let's call an executor. Ooh. This looks a bit tricky. Okay, so executor skill does go three ways. So we do need to pay attention to setting free the tomato bottles. Um, from their captivity, so that's one thing we need to pay attention to. The other thing is the popcorn kernels, they need to be set free as well. 
Oh man, I missed out on one. That's okay. We do need the score. Okay. There we go. Okay, we do have a problem. Yeah, fun kernels are kind of in the way. So we're gonna need multiple destructions. Okay. The olives are very annoying. Alright, so some of them are still coated olive oil. It's gonna be a problem. Okay. Can we yeah, there we go. Oh! Okay, so we do have enough megaphones to handle the tomato bottles. Luckily enough, <laughs> we managed to still clear the level without the need of a refresh. Uh, it would have ended up a lot better if I had planned things out. Uh, but, you know, sometimes, as I always say in all my past videos, a clear is still a clear. Alright, let's move along. So if I'm not wrong, I think this account of mine <laughs> is lacking on the Christmas Lucario. I should probably have made a video during then. I would have wasted a chance to try and obtain a Pokemon that I missed out on. Oh well. Alright, we've got all the honey. Hmm. If we could destroy the sugar cubes first, then wait for the pickle jars to light up, I think we might have a quick destruction here. Yeah, I can't reach the pickle jar. Okay, so we could have just used... Um, yeah, we're gonna use Execlipse scale to just get rid of the sugar cubes first and then we just go ahead and destroy the pickle jars because it's a lot easier to do so like this alright oh that would have been fantastic if they were lit up there we go done so I just gotta make room for more icons to appear and you should have no problem so main priority is still the sugar cubes if we had known that strategy earlier we could have ended a lot earlier well at least now you know what to do all right the lasso okay so Okay, we need Palazzo's skill. And let's try and get rid of as many of the caramels as possible. There we go. Let's set these free. Fantastic. Okay. So, getting rid of the caramels first. Go. Okay, we're gonna slot these in. Fantastic. Okay, we still do need a link of 35. So that might be a problem. Okay. Alright, it seems like we have enough of these. Maybe now a shot on them. Okay. Let's see. We could destroy the tomato bottles first and create more icons and hopefully get that 35. There we go. That's what we needed. Alright, so even though we ended with no extra moves remaining, that's still a good thing. Okay, moving 
Long. Still have yet to see Score Bunny in the queue. I wonder if the Pokemon are, uh, you know, uh, obey the COVID laws. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Um, if we could power up Minchino's skill, that would have been great. Oh well. Okay, let's get the Squirtles going. There we go. Get the leaves in. Let's go to Pikachu's. Okay, Minchino's. Push the leaves in. Oh, that's too far. Oh well. Okay, since we have a lot of these skills right now, let's set all the whipped creams free. Okay, Michinos. There we go. Now the only problem is to gather all of them in a single area. Okay. Hmm, we do need score though. So let's just pick up as many icons as possible. There we go. Now if we can destroy all of them, there we go. Fantastic. So once again, another level. Very tight squeeze on the amount of available moves. Well, that's fine. As long as you know what you need to do, I think you should be good. Mm -hmm. Stolen. Ooh. Okay, we gotta pay attention to the amount of vegetables needed. Uh, there's a lot of blossoms going on right now. And there is the issue of the... Uh, olives being coated. Okay, so if we can get all the olives to move in together, we have been great. Okay, blossoms. Let's set these guys free. Squirtle. Okay, we kind of have a problem. Alright, so all of them are free. Let's get some veggies and destroy all the olives at the same time. Okay, megaphone requirement completed. Oh, actually we are just short of an olive and score. So let's just do this. Simple as that. So, if you don't move the olives around too much and, you know, make use of the large quantities of Pokemon icons available to get Startland skill leveled up, I think you shouldn't have too much of a hassle. Just got to be careful on coating some of the icons or items that needs to be destroyed. Ooh, friendship bonus for Lucario. Nice. Bump was oh, it's a times tree. Okay, so two combos of 30, that might be a bit of a problem. Let's keep all the starly icons around. Okay, there's a lot of starly, so let's just go ahead and clear them up now. Uh oh, oh, come on, I'm short of one. That's horrible. There you go, Pikachu met the requirements. Okay, we really need to start destroying the strawberry cartons. So that we can move all the tomatoes into the basket. Starly. Alright. Okay, let's see. 
Spear for score. Fantastic. Okay, so let's just shuffle all the tomatoes in. Can we do that? There we go, one by one. Fantastic. Could have ended at least one or two moves earlier, but you know, still good. Finally getting Score Barney to join the queue. Oh wait, no. I'm getting more decorations. Ooh. I wonder who is it for? Oh Oh my god! Finally! My favorite Pokemon is now attainable! Yes guys, if you didn't know, I love penguins, therefore Piplup is my favorite Pokemon. I can't say though for the new penguin in Pokemon Sword and Shield. <laughs> and that one is just a bit too strange for my taste. Okay. Yeah. yeah even the gate looks kind of like Pit Plop's head. <laughs> oh, I'm so just so happy. Okay. Munchlax. Let's go. Ooh, this looks a bit tricky. Okay, we gotta set free those pumpkins um, that are coated in bubblegum. If we can bring them together, that would be great. Okay, destroying the chocolate for more space. Okay, we do have to rely a bit of RNG because of the megaphone's appearance positioning. There we go. Okay, let's not use um, the skill chocolates. That's kind of wasteful. Oh, come on! Okay, there's a lot of pl pit plops. So let's go ahead and collect the penguins. We use the icons to destroy the chocolates. If only we could move closer to that chocolate piece. Oh, never mind. At least the megaphone destroyed it. Okay, let's push this in. Okay. Now we can use much like skill to destroy the chocolate. Only problem is. How do we destroy the pumpkins? Uh, gosh darn it. Okay. This is gonna require some tricky. Oh, come on. <laughs> One move shot! Oh! Alright, I'm gonna go with the 900 acorns. Because it's just there. <laughs> oh, dang it. Pretty tricky level. Gotta play smart. And of course, a bit of RNG luck with those megaphones. Oh well. Alright, let's keep going. Lucario, you're up next. Ooh. Okay. Let's go with the left side first. Can get rid of all the caramels. Let's get rid of them. Um, yeah, let's do it here. Okay. It would have been great if we could destroy the pickle jars on the right side towards the bottom. Because that would have given us a very good opportunity to use the Skill. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now the problem is the popcorns. Here we go. So all the popcorns are set up. Okay. So from here on, it should be pretty simple. 
Alright, just gotta be careful with the jars. You know, gotta make sure to destroy those that are littered up. Okay, we do need the score. So let's gather all the icons. There we go. So yeah, you hurt my laptop pop. <laughs> this is what happens when the MacBook is getting a bit too old and the parts are like expanding and contracting uh, due to the heat in the country so it's not good for the hardware oh boy yay my boy is here look at that adorable blue thing oh I can't wait to add you to the, the oh score bunny is behind you I guess he knew I wanted to see Pippa up first, so he let the little dude, you know, in front of him. <laughs> That's so kind of him. Oh boy. This looks messy. So, we just need to be careful with Charmander's skill. Um, we need to make sure that he hits optimal, you know, um, rolls. So three rolls is the max. Okay, there we go. Let's get all the squirtles first. Go in. Let's touch as many honey icons as possible. We do want to try and power up Charmander's skill. Oh, why? It was so unfortunate. Okay, Charmander. It's really unfortunate. Could have used a power up skill now. Oh well. Those are days. Okay, got a lot of squirtles. There we go. Let's power up this. Get those egg baskets. Could have gone for three rows. But you know. Okay, let's get a more Charmanders so we can power up. Now we don't really need to power up since the rows are short enough. Okay, let's get a as many to destroy. Oh we do need mm, this is a problem. We do need eggs though. I don't know if we can destroy... Oh, We couldn't destroy the tomato bottle with one turn shot. Oh well, 900 acorns it is. I mean, it's just one move away from completing the level. And I've sorted up quite a bit of acorns from all the daily logins for not playing. <laughs> yeah, you can actually not play each day and still gain the daily logins you know so that's what I've been doing all right score bunny it's not the last level that's kind of a bummer it would have been great to get the extra star uh, friendship bonus would be good too oh well I guess Stoutland is gonna get the bonus stars Okay, let's see. Is this going to be a problem? Okay. Do we need to power up? Yeah, I think we need to power up the skill. Okay. Can we get three rows? Yes, we can. Now that we've set those three. Okay, let's get the squirtles going. Make sure to destroy the marshmallows. Okay. Skills on this side. There we go. Don't really need to power it up to target all four. Okay, we need one more. There we go. Okay. We got to position the milk carton 
in a nice slot so that the canister falls onto it. Exactly. There we go. Oh wait, we still need the score. Oh dang. Completely forgot. Okay, so it would have been a nice way to finish the level. <laughs> oh well. At least we still have extra moves to settle the um, requirements to clear the level. Alright, we are here at the 10th level, which means that it is finally the end of the video. So let's do this. Okay. The big boy needs his stars. Honey stars. Alright, let's see. Um, it doesn't look too difficult, but you know, Baba Fett's skill does require a bit of RNG factor. Hopefully, we can break through some of these. There we go. Okay, we still need to destroy the cheese where the baskets are. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Okay. It's kind of unfortunate that the cheese at the sides don't get destroyed. Should we really rely on our best luck? Okay, that's done. Um, so now the only problem is to get the leaves down. Okay, that's in. Hopefully, this skill can settle me. Oh, come on! You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so let's use this to push the leaves down before we. Yeah. It's a problem. Okay, one in. Oh, come on! Oh. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna retry the level. It's so close. So close. Okay. Come on. Push it down. We do need vegetables though. Okay. So. There we go. <laughs> uh, we had to spend uh, quite a bit of acorns today. Oh well. What to do. We are so close. So close. So. As usual guys, as long as you know what you need to do um, and you know, considering that you guys don't have to make YouTube videos and you want people to not stress too long <laughs> of a time watching your videos you know, you can take your time, play each of the levels, retry them if you need to save on those acorns for future very difficult levels or just you know, because you're grinding for stars, you know, during those raid events that require help with, from other players within your team as well. You know, that kind of stuff. Um, and, well, anyway, that's it for me today. I will still be playing all the daily, invita daily invitational um, stages, you know, to get those extra stars to level up Score Bunny. And I'm still looking forward to the day when Pokemon Cafe Mix gets a whole total revamp on its playstyle and what kind of future events that they might uh, introduce to the game. Hopefully soon. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much. As always, if you guys watch through the entire video, you guys are awesome. If you guys leave the like, subscribe, share and all the good stuff, you guys are Stupendous. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!